All right, Mustangs, we're back here. I've got my assistants, Malcolm and Wesley, and it looks like Alice here has decided to be part of the video. We're back with another edition of What in the Heck Are the Hendersons Doing in Terms of Science Over Break. So, just like the uh, mealworm video, Amazon Claus stopped by and dropped off some critters. So what we have here is what looks like a yogurt cup, but it's definitely not yogurt. And it's not praying mantis flavored yogurt either. <laughs> so, what we have in here are these two little egg cases. Okay? You see how they look kind of like nothing? And they're really, really super light? Okay, these are praying mantis egg cases. The technical term for them is, and I'm going to look at my notes for this, Uthaca. So we have two Uthacas here, and each one can have between 50 and 200 praying mantis eggs. Boys, do you think they're big eggs? No. No. And in two to six weeks, which is quite a long time from now, and it's a pretty big range, but in two to six weeks, we're going to get some baby praying mantises. If we have two Uthakas and each one can have between 50 and 200 mantises in it, we have between 100 and 400 praying mantis eggs in here. So, I'm going to take these and we're going to put them in this butterfly thing that we got a couple of years ago when we did this with butterflies. And we're just going to kind of let them sit there out of the way for two to six weeks. Now, as soon as they hatch, boys, what are we going to do with them? We might keep one and feed it like a pet, but all of the other ones get released immediately, don't they? Mm -hmm. Why is that, Wesley? Um, because they're going to try to eat each other. Yeah, praying mantises <laughs> like to eat other little bugs, and if you've got between 50 and 200 of them in there, it becomes really grim really fast. Ew. Okay, because after a few days... And it won't be hungry anymore. Okay? So, another thing I want to talk to you guys about, going back to our invasive species discussion, is the fact that praying mantises, or praying mantids, I forget which one's right, are not from around here. They're not native. Okay? These ones were either brought in from Europe or China years ago. They're everywhere now, though. You see them all the time. So, one of the journal questions you're going to have about this video is going to ask you, just because these are non-native, does that mean that they're an invasive species? And I'm going to make you tell me why you think that. Okay? All right. Boys, anything else you want to add about these wonderful, pretty boring-looking, snotty egg cases? No? Okay. So we got one more thing, guys. I know you want an update. You are not... <laughs> not in the way. Okay. So, this is our mealworm colony that we set up in a previous video, and we put them with some styrofoam. And I don't know if you can tell here, because I bet the camera's not good enough. There are some spots where they've chewed up some of that styrofoam. And if you look down here, all that brown glitter is poop. Mm -hmm. That's mealworm poop. So, clearly they're eating something, and I, I wonder if it's mostly styrofoam or if it's mostly the piece of sweet potato I put in there at the beginning. What do you think, Mustangs? Maybe I'll throw a journal question in about that, too. But that's just an update on our styrofoam mealworms. Uh, there's much, much more to come because uh, we're going to be here at least another two weeks. And these kids, they keep me busy. They always want to try stuff. The weather's going to get nicer. We're going to spend some time out in the backyard. And uh, there's lots of science happening back there. So, boys, tell our awesome Mustang viewers goodbye. Goodbye. You guys stay safe. You. Keep your science mind strong. Because I'm going to test them out in one way or another when I see you again. All right? Have a good day.